Okay, welcome everyone. I want to look at the material balance within a chemical reactor. So we'll look at how to do manual calculation with material balance within a chemical reactor and using um, Unisim, Unisim a simulation software. So uh, chemical engineering is basically about converting a raw material to useful products. So we're going to look at an example of using ethanol to produce diethyl ether. You know, diethyl ether is a very useful a chemical. It can be used as fuel and can also be used as drugs and then um, as solvent. So um, I think it would have been better to have a way of magically convert ethanol to the product diethyl ether and it does not possible in real life so even when we use a chemical reactor we we can't directly just get um, ethanol to diethyl ether it comes with other difficulties and one of the difficulties is that the ethanol will not just give only diethyl ether as you can see in the chemical reaction, ethanol here would yield diethyl ether and water. So at the end of the day, the process engineer will look at um, separating the water from the diethyl ether. So but now we're going to just look at the material balance. When what quantity of the ether do you get from a certain quantity of ethanol okay so this uh, balanced chemical reaction this balanced chemical reaction would be very useful at this point so since um, within the design we want to do a general balance that we can use it to estimate whatever quantity that we are looking at so we we use 100 um, kilogram mole as the basis so at the end of the day you can always iterate or uh, um, extrapolate to get whatever quantity you need so assuming we are using 100 kilogram mole kg mole of the ethanol feed so when you are during scale up you can now use this model and get result for 1000 kg mole 1 million kg mole as the case may be you can also get your results in um, uh, grams and then um, volume that's in um, liters as the case may be so um but you still follow this model um so the first thing you calculate in doing material balance that happens within a chemical reactor it means a chemical reaction has taken place so what you do you first of all calculate the extent of the reaction that means um, what amount of the reactants will be converted to the product because again if it is possible to get 100% conversion, I think that would have been the good news for everyone. But in reality, um, it is difficult or impossible to achieve 100%. Okay, so every design is done within some limits of um, degree of conversion, depending on the um, the reaction variables and the a catalyst that you are using okay so the formula to use and get the extent of the reaction extent of reaction and we use epsilon equals to conversion times number of moles of the reactant then divide by the stoichiometric um, coefficient so the the design assumption is a um, you know we ask ourselves would we be able to get a reactant 
a feedstock, a raw material that is 100% ethanol, that again is almost impossible. So we can get 99%, we can get 95%, and then you know, the closer you are to 100%, the more the cost of your reactant. So we, you use 99.9%, if you are doing some analytical research but in a commercial and you know that 99.9 percent .9 will be very expensive so in commercial work um, you we want to make profit at the end of the day so if you use a uh, 95 percent and it still give you the quality of the product that you want then fine so we go for 95% ethanol and 5% water. So it's like getting a raw material that is 95% ethanol and 5% water. And then um, maybe from lab studies, it was um, it was established that you can get 80% reactor conversion. So we're going to use this for our analysis. Okay, so the molar flow rate of ethanol in the feed so we for the 100 kg mole of the ethanol um of the feed how much what mole is ethanol itself so you do that by using this um, calculation um 0 0.95 that's 95 percent times this and that gives you 95 kg mole of ethanol so the extent of the reaction now um, extent of reaction now is the formula we use is conversion times number of moles of the ethanol all over this okay so um, the extent of the reaction the conversion we are using 80 percent conversion and then um, the number of moles of the ethanol we've calculated that to be 95 using this um, form expression here then divide by the stoichiometric coefficient you come to the equation and then this number here is a stoichiometric coefficient and it is two so that gives you this so it means that um at the end of the day it is um 38 kg mole of the reactant that is converted okay so we have that then uh, you now uh, taking spatial balance on the reactor so the balance we are doing the material balance we are doing is not overall balance but it's special balance we are tracking ethanol in the system so input equals to output input equals to output then input of, of the reactor is um, the most of the ethanol entering the reactor is 0 0.95 times is giving you this and it came with water and five percent water so that means 95 kg mole of ethanol and then a uh, five percent kg mole of water that enter as feed now um the either we didn't have either in the ethanol in the feed so it's like using fresh feed without recycle so the work we are doing now is like a single pass a single pass through the reactor no recycle okay so that's the input so these are the inputs then the outputs of the reactor we now use this formula moles out minus moles in divided by stoichiometric ratio so most out equals to most in plus extent of reaction times stoichiometric ratio okay so the most out now we've gotten the most in now most in then the most out now most out of the reactor that is the most of ethanol leaving the reactor equals to we say most in 95 percent ethanol came in and the name um, extent of reaction 38 from what we've we calculated earlier on um 38 what we calculated earlier on and then um, divide uh, multiply by the stoichiometric ratio so for ethanol minus two since ethanol is reactant so stoichiometric ratio we give it a negative sign for reactant okay so 
so that means at the end of the day it is um 19 if you do that so this 95 this if you do this arithmetic this 76 so at the end of the day at the end of the reaction it is 19 kg mole of it and all that still live unreacted you know okay so that can be separated and then recycled then how much water is oh you leave this how much water is leaving the reactor then um the the water that came in with the reactant is or uh, um five k was five kg more then um we now do this calculation and then um the stoichiometric ratio for water let's go to the equation at the equation now we see water here stoichiometric ratio is one and then the water is a product so we give it positive one so that gives so at the end of the day is um 43 kg mole of water that is coming out of the reactor then um, the ADA which is our product the major product it came in fresh so there was no ADA coming in with the feed then um, the extent of reaction then times one the stoichiometric ratio if you check the equation you have here one the number written here so the, when there's no number it's one um so with that we have this coming out so that means um i don't know the, the most of an uh, ethanol entering is 95 leaving 19 water 5 leaving 43 and um, either entering zero either leaving 38 so that's how you do material balance calculation for a chemical reactor when you are given the um the conversion now let's see how we can do the same calculation using a chemical engineering software unison okay so we go and load unison okay so let's see we now come to components we would add the components so we would make use of um we will need ethanol you enter we will need diethyl ether you double click to enter then water so those are the three components we would make use of you close that then um, the fluid package i explained this in the previous video the fluid package will just go straight and look for pen robinson and swap okay so that's okay we close that then we don't need a hypothetical we go to reactions add reaction since we've been given the conversion um it's a unidirectional um reaction so it's not in equilibrium then um we don't have the kinetic property conversion is enough so you use conversion reaction you add reaction you bring down the component ethanol diethyl ether and water so ethanol the stoichiometric ratio of ethanol was two so since it's reactant we say minus two ether was one plus one water one okay then um, that takes us directly to the basis our main component that we are converting is ethanol the reaction phase we use um overall then the conversion 80 percent so that's supposed to be fine okay so that's ready you close that close that so you add what you have done to 
flute package so that we can make use of it when we enter the simulation environment all right so i think everything is fine there um do we do a blunder enter simulation environment i just hope what we did we'll be able to find it here okay let's see okay so we now get the material stream you double click and then from there you can name this ethanol oh, that wasn't correct ethanol and then uh, the temperature let's use um so the reaction from experience it would occur above the boiling point of ethanol so let's just use um 80 degrees celsius because i'm sure it won't occur at room temperature so it has to be a vapor phase reaction except you are ready to run it at vacuum so since we we want to run a reactor using um atmospheric pressure so the temperature has to be above boiling point of ethanol then um atmospheric pressure 101.3 um, and then the flow rate molar flow rate we use 100 as our basis then the composition the feed entered as 0 0.95 mole fraction then water 0 0.05 so that's okay so we now go and get our reactor you come to general reactors and get conversion reactor you drag it down you double click and do the connection ethanol comes here and um, top products and then a uh, bottom product then reaction okay that's so everything is fine then we check the bottom no flow rate coming and that means everything as a vapor phase we come to composition and we see that let's compare the results from manual calculation we had 19 kg mole for ethanol let's check the simulation from software 0.19 so diethyl ada we um, 0.38 let's see what we had in manual calculation 38 fine then um, let's check water 0.43 let's see what we had in uh, manual calculation 43 so that shows that um, we can use the unison to have the same results with what we did using manual calculation so the beauty about this um, simulation software is that you can do a lot of um, extrapolation so you can now see what will happen if you use um, a flow rate of 1000 kg mole per hour and then like that you can also ask yourself what will happen if the um, reaction is done at um, room temperature so that is how to use a simulation software and have the same results with the um, manual calculation thank you for watching do well to share